How Solons are in a rush to amend select and only economic provisions in the 1987 Constitution, so they filed an identical version of the Senate's proposed resolution of both houses number six. They may have calmed the air or eased the tensions a bit between both houses. But a Senate coup allegedly cooked up in the House has brought back the mistrust. Our Mela Les Moras has more. Several lawmakers from the House of Representatives vehemently denied allegations they are behind the issue on an alleged coup d'etat against the Senate leadership. During today's press conference at the lower house, PBA party list representative Mix Nograles, one wider party list representative Rog Gutierrez, and Lanao del Sur first district representative Zia Alonto Adjong all denied any involvement in the matter. Despite being co-equal bodies, they said both the House and the Senate make their own decisions and have their own leaderships. So so they do not understand where this issue came from. Senators, for their part, also deny the allegedly brewing coup. We don't know why they keep on tagging us every time there's an issue coming up. We will respect the independence, I mean, the, yeah, the independence of our co-equal branch, the Senate. This is entirely up to the Senate. Bakit pag nag-aaway-aaway po ang Senado, kami pa rin po ang may kasalanan? Wala naman pong kinalaman ang House of Representatives sa uh, Gusto ng Senado with, with, in terms of their leadership, they have their own internal rules, we respect their rules, we respect um, who they want to place as their leader. According to some quarters of the Senate, mga congressman lang daw po kami, napakalakas naman po natin kung makaka-influensya po kami dyan sa upper chamber. Instead of controversies, congressmen once again urged the Senate to focus on passing the resolution of both houses number 6, especially now that the House has also introduced their resolution of both houses number 7. RBH 6 and RBH 7 have the same contents, aiming to amend certain economic provisions of the Constitution in line with the vision of President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr. to further open up and develop our economy. In a statement, Senator Sonny Angara said the latest move by the lower house is a positive development. The House is very, very sincere to work with the Senate uh, in visit, revisiting our Constitution, specifically the economic provisions. Uh, we are happy that, they, that the Senate, uh, Senator Angara, has a positive response uh, when yesterday the leadership of the House filed RBH 7, adopting the version uh, of the Senate. It only goes to say that matagal na po namin sinasabi, let's work together, let's, let's discuss about the economic uh, provisions in the Constitution. Impossible to have a healthy discussion, a healthy debate, rather than dwell so much on name-calling and yung patutsada at mga marites. Congressman Adjong added, to truly focus on economic charter change, the Senate should already stop its investigation on people's initiative as it causes confusion and raise unnecessary issues. For one, Ayuda Para Sa Kaposang Kita program or ACAP has been being dragged into the mess due to the PI inquiry, with one senator accusing its budget was thrown from pensions. The GAA was signed on December. It's already almost the end of Feb. Bakit ngayon lang din? Kino question to. Di dapat po, especially during the bicam. If talagang may irregularities, this should have been raised as early as the discussions. At bakit po ngayon kino question to sa timing na malaking issue. Ang nakakatakot po dito is sa bawat na lang po na ayuda ibibigay namin sa taong bayan na kasama po sa uh, trabaho po ng public officials, public servants. Uh, bakit ni relate dito sa People's Initiative? Bawal na po ba kaming magbigay ng tulong sa mga taong bayan at gagawin kami masama uh, sa pagbibigay ng nakakabuti naman po sa mga tao. Melalas Moras from the National TV Network for a new and better republic. <music>